Gospel Minister Sinaj faces heavy criticism after congratulating the President-elect of the United States of America as Prophetess Celestine is being dragged for giving a fake prophecy regarding the presidential election of the United States of America. The Prophetess Celestine faces heavy backlash also after giving a fake prophecy regarding the United States election. These and more we will be discussing in this video, my beautiful people. You are welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do well by liking the video. Kindly do well by subscribing to the channel. Gospel Minister Sinaj has faced heavy controversy after congratulating President Trump. Some of the comments says, "For how many light and darkness have you chased in your own country, Nigeria?" Even in the last 2023 elections, you guys risen through the enus, I swear. This one said Trump isn't a Christian. He doesn't represent the kingdom of God, which clash with what kingdom? Lovelies, after the Nigerian election last year, so many Nigerian celebrities, gospel ministers, and entertainers kept quiet. But many of them are now congratulating the president-elect of the United States, which has made people wonder what kind of hypocrisy is this this one says putting this man and god in the same sentence is truly laughable this one says you can choose to laugh but we will victory lovelies once more let me say congratulations to the president of the united states of america which is the president-elect president donald trump sinaj congratulated him on her instagram page and so many people did not find this funny many calling her out saying what was her contribution to the last elections that were held in nigeria this one says you all should keep your disappointment to yourself sinaj has the right to her opinions just like every one of you jesus is still lord regardless this one says madam hush with all due respect to me i would always say over here when it comes to political matters i don't really take the opinions of a man of god you know to heart i have a, a a mind of my own i have a sense of my own i have opinions of my own it's left to me to look at the leader or the person or the candidate who is presenting themselves to be a leader and then decide for myself because i've noticed that politics and um, religion in nigeria is kind of interwoven and it has not really given the best results you know so far in nigeria so when it comes to election politics in nigeria i don't really take oh god said oh no 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 i sit on my own i analyze the candidates running and i choose who i feel has the best interest of the nation at heart but one thing i notice about nigerian celebrities be the christian celebrities and the wayward celebrities many of them when it comes to politics in nigeria they are very quiet and for reasons best known to them but i feel that is not the best when the country goes a wire trust me everybody suffers from it so when the bible says uh, when the children of god are quiet you know things go wrong he, he, he wasn't wrong at all let's quickly talk, talk about and prophet celestina yeah she has been dragged on social media for giving a fake prophecy saying that you know donald trump will lose the 2024 election and that Kamala harris will be the one to win this has gone south as donald trump won the election many are dragging her calling her a fake prophetess saying she's a prophetess of doom she never heard from god and that she has been misleading the people of christ my lovelies feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section one thing about many of these prophecies is that sometimes they did not really hear from god they are just saying it to give themselves content and i don't even know why um there should be competition of prophecy of this prophecy of that my question is the person you're prophesying that will win is the person the will of god but the person do things that are right in the nation that is just it for me it's not by giving prophecy how can a pastor come and prophesy that a a a, a, a candidate of doom will win and come and say it's the will of god how is that the will of god so like i always say here politics to me it's very very personal but feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section my beautiful people